Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's Caffeine for the Soul. If you like the things that we talk about on this podcast each week, please do come and visit michaelneal.org forward slash basic course for a a 12-session free video program going into more depth into what I call in these podcasts the inside-out understanding, or at times you might hear me say the three principles. I was finishing up a, a, a... a three-year relationship with a client the other day. And it was really interesting because normally I'll work with people for six months to a year and then they might come back and we'll work on and off over time. I've had people I've worked with on and off for over 20 years. But but this particular client, we we had a we we worked together over a, a three-year period. And he expressed at the end of it some just amazing insights that he's had and changes that he'd made in his life. And it was, it was very heartening and wonderful to hear. But he had one question, which is kind of the question that almost every client has when we're finishing our, our work together. And it's, what's next? And the expectation inevitably is that there's a next thing to study. There's a next thing to learn. There's a next coach to hire. There's a next book to read. But when I heard him ask the question, I heard a different answer inside my mind. And the answer was, go home. Now, I wasn't <laughs> kicking him out of the office. <laughs> I, I, was, I was pointing him towards what is home base for every human being. The space before thought the formless side of life. So the Scottish mystic Sid Banks once discovered, d- 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 described the world as that, that it could be imagined as a, a, a perfect circle with a, a, a line through the, through the center of the circle, a horizontal line. And underneath the line was the formless, the invisible side of life the nature of life, the energy and intelligence behind life, the spirit essence of life, pure, undifferentiated possibility. And then above the line is the form, and the form is everything that you can think and see and hear and taste and touch and smell. It's not just outside of the body, it's anything that has a form. And he would go on to say, show that the, the circle he called the allness, the form he called the isness, and the formless he called the nothingness. And he would talk about how everything comes from nothing. The formless comes from the form. In fact, the description of this understanding is the inside-out understanding is because Sid used the word inside to talk about the formless, because it's underneath the surface, and the form as the outside, so it's inside out. Life only works one way, from formless to form. The nature of creation, all creation, is the formless coming into form. Now, part of seeing that is seeing that actually the formless and the form are one. So if you imagine, and I think this is another another Sid Banks description, looking at a tree, there, there are, you can see three trees. There's the, the formless energy that's making the tree exist at all. There's the form of the tree. And then if you see it in the singular, you see the formless and form simultaneously. Well, this formless side of life, the no-thingness of life, the nothing out of which everything comes, is your home base. It's where to look when you don't know where to look. 
It's where you can rest your, your weary mind. It's where you will find inspiration and hope and possibility. The Buddhists call it the ultimate medicine because it brings you exactly what you need, exactly when you need it. So whether you've been in this exploration for a long time or this is the very first podcast you're listening to, I encourage you to go home to the formless inside you. Well, where is that? Everywhere and nowhere. It is right where you are sitting now. And if you went to India, it would be right where you are sitting now. And if you studied for 50 years in a monastery, it would be right where you are sitting now. As the mystic Joel Goldsmith said, it's closer than breath. And it is your natural state. It is the essence of who we all are. And we cannot lose it. So we don't have to really find it, even though it can feel like we lose it and it can feel that we find it. It is ironically the only solid ground in the universe. And it's ironic because it has no solidity. It is pure, formless energy. It is in everything. It makes up everything. My mom was a professor of organic chemistry, and she used to love wearing a T-shirt that said, never trust an atom. It makes up everything. Well, the formless spiritual nature of life makes up everything. You're soaking in it right now. And if you feel, if you go inside, how do you go inside? Close your eyes if it's safe to do so. You know you're still here. You can feel it. And if you can feel an energy or aliveness, if you sense a quiet, if you have a nice feeling, that is the feeling of your true nature. That is the feeling of being at home inside yourself. That's where to look when you don't where to know where to look. It's, it's where to go when you don't know where to go. And you can live your entire life from here. You can't leave home without it. It's like a, a turtle taking its shell with it on its back everywhere it goes. You're made of it. You can't leave it behind. It, 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 if, you, if you think of it like a home, you might think, ah, oh, but I can get further from home. If I, I can think my way away from home and I can lose track of home and I, well, unlike in the physical world where if you went 300 miles away from home, you would have to come 300 miles back. You can't escape what you are. So if you mentally have gone 300 miles or 300 days or, or, or 300 lifetimes away from home, you're still never more than one thought away from this formless energy that you are at the heart of everything you may want to see in the world. And this is one where if, if you're feeling it, but you're kind of lost, I encourage you, you can come back and listen to it again. You can go on, on the website, go to michaelneal.org forward slash basic course to, to see more about it. But if you're feeling it, that's it. Go home. I'll meet you there. Have fun, learn heaps, happy exploring. And I'll talk with you soon. Thank you.